Why now, I'm about do to white show you people something. think that they and have I the know what authority you guys genuinely think, to, like, because to me, it seems a little bit rooted in that one, like, Uncle Tom or Tom or Tree. Race you know, or like some Candace Owens whitewash type shit. Race. Like, of course, I think that this is it's true. Like, but <laughs> really to the extent people that people went in the comments so section, just and, and the fact that nobody really elaborated on what I want to talk about people is um, like kind of discouraging. So thing. let's just. Or the one that you're about to see. I just want to show you some stupid shit. If you're so worried about health, then maybe you should go on a diet, honestly. I care about going on a diet. See, fat phobia is rooted in racism. So you are a racist oh. little baby. I'm a racist because I said you should probably go on a diet. And if I hear this fat phobia is rooted in white supremacy line one more time. If you're so worried about health and... Now I know that the people who argued this are going to call me an ungrateful coon for telling them that this argument is is dumb but i'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway i feel like this is so stupid that i don't even have to do like any commentary on it literally just look at her like as she's saying what she says let's just look at her she does like a whole little body shake i feel bad making fun of her because she genuinely looks mentally handicapped see fat phobia is rooted in racism so you are a racist oh. little baby. I'm a racist because I said you should probably go on a diet. It's the mark of TikTok delusion. I feel bad for this white man that, that reacted in the video. Look at him hanging his head low. He's like, this is what my people have come to. There's so many ways you could argue like racism still exists in America or that, that there is white supremacy still strangle holding the the country but fat phobia that's uh, that's how we got it guys this is how we got it bad like what does that even have to do with fucking racism like uh, are you trying to say that black people are inherently fat or some shit i've heard the the retards on tiktok try to explain their fucking reasoning but it literally never makes sense I'm not even going to do any commentary on it, like I said before. If I don't stop with this clip right now, we're not going to have time for the second one. So let me just say this. Dear white people, stop arguing on behalf of colored people. First of all, you don't, you don't know pretty much anything about what it takes or what it entails to be a colored person. And, and second of all... When these are your arguments, when all you have to offer is a bunch of retarded shit like this, and you really think that you slam dunked and you, you just you just demolished whoever you're debating or arguing, if this is all you have to offer, just don't offer us anything at all, please. Now, the next clip is addressing the, the, the black side. You know, this next clip, we're going to discuss something that that deals with primarily black people now of course uh, let me just play the clip before i continue now this is tiktok well not tiktok but it's a tiktok that they took the youtube shorts that i saw earlier so basically i'm not going to play the actual video just sum it up really quick uh he says there are two types of black people there are black people who are ghetto and then there's the people who aren't ghetto that hate the ghetto people those are the two types of black people and honestly i didn't really like this um video it made me feel kind of weird inside um basically there's there's a lot of ways you could engage with this but i think one of the major problems with it is that you really can't tell like the the integrity or you know just the type of black person that's saying this someone could be saying it to just speak on like a truth and then some people um that are black they genuinely hate being black and they will do anything to disparage other black people around them and drag them down so something like this obviously has um the potential to do that for example, a lot of people in the comments just didn't really acknowledge that code switching is a thing. Like, um, a lot of people, they'll pretend to be a certain way when they're around certain people and, and vice versa. So, for example, you could have um, a black person who's acting ghetto um, when they're angry. They start to act ghetto. 
But then you can have a black person who starts to act ghetto once they get around other people who are ghetto. Just those are just two examples. So you could see how you could apply that. And in some ways it would be not necessarily racist. Yeah, racist, but um, just like it's about people's intentions, you know. And then there's the, fa- the simple fact that no, no one is actually ghetto. Like, that's not a fucking thing, you know. Like, you could be a rowdy and uppity, but being ghetto is very rarely, like, a trait that people fucking possess, you know? You, most people are just faking when they act all over the top in ghetto. Like, you could be raised in a poor area, and so a lot of the ways that you act, like, you you have uh, fixes for things that most people wouldn't know because you're, like, the only one that encounters these problems, you know? Uh, their addiction could be like uh, there could be a lot of slang involved they slur their words but that's literally not about like ghetto-ness as much as it is just about being inherently fucking poor you know like that one song that filthy frank has he's like i'm from the south and i'm really fucking stupid i can't read i can't write i got a cliff lip and a lazy eye Yes, so I I think you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Uh, There's uh, especially the black people who would say something like this. A lot of them are literally Uncle Toms. And I'm not talking about the good kind of Uncle Tom. I'm talking about the bad kind of Uncle Tom. And every single black person, whether you're ghetto or not, literally hates these these types of people. And one of the comments I actually did like, they, they said that, um, being black is not um all being ghetto you know they said you don't have it's not really about your race you could be a ghetto asian person a ghetto white person you know if you're not white you're black that's my philosophy but obviously different ethnicities exist so yeah ghetto asian person a ghetto mexican oh wait ghetto latin person you know It, it doesn't really have to be about your race Ghetto-ness is not inherently a black thing. Um, we just live in the West, and we always see this type of behavior being portrayed, you know? What do you guys think of this video? Peace out. Leave a like and subscribe. I would appreciate it, and that would help out me channel a whole heck of Also, in the news, my birthday is tomorrow. If you want to uh, wish me a happy birthday in the comments, that'd be